Hello everybody, my name is KevGuy378 and welcome back to If My Heart Had Wings. I don't remember where we were, but... Load it up. Amane was wolfing down in Neapolitan pasta lunchbox, and Katori and I both had a face that seemed this to say, Whoa! and looked down in amazement. Why would we say whoa? Oh. She didn't know that when she was eating ice cream like a crazy idiot, I had the same reaction when I was watching her. By the way, the thing that Amane was eating was the lunchbox that I had brought. As usual, the boarders hadn't eaten the breakfast I had made for them, so I packed it as in my lunch. I had made two lunch boxes. One was for me. As for the other one, I thought that if Katori was going to go to school, she might have found it difficult at lunchtime. So I was worried about her and brought another lunch box. That's why I was chasing her. If she didn't need it, I thought that I might eat them both myself. She ran away before I could ask her. Asked the Mane. Although she'd already eaten most of it before asking. I've already eaten my one. I was hungry during morning recess, so I had lunch early. Relieved to hear my answer, Amane continues to enjoy the cold Neapolitan pasta. Didn't you have anything to eat after I saw you yesterday? I only gave her one piece of bread. Amane stopped moving her chopsticks and took a good look at my face. You've only just realized? She really is weird. She looked at me with eyes that sparkled like a little kid's. If she were a dog, her tail would definitely be wagging like crazy. I counted on my fingers. If there are 24 hours in a day, that's three days total ago. She recalls this, and her face looks like she's about to start drooling. Why don't you eat? Are you on a diet? Huh? Mane replied with pride. I'd prefer it if she didn't compare it to when people when people forget things because they are hungry. Are you doing that here? Soaring Club? I wasn't familiar with that name. What's soaring? Flying a glider by riding the rising air currents. I kind of get it, but on the other hand, I don't get it. So the aim of the club is to make and fly a glider? So this garage is used for club activities after all. Even so, it's pretty spacious. グライダーって飛行機みたいなものなんでしょ自分で作れるものなのああ、作れるさ。それが人工物である以上、人に作れないものはないはずだわ。I have a feeling that's not what she's asking. 
However, I'm going to answer the question in all seriousness. Hold on a moment, I said as Amani slipped up the last of the Neapolitan with extremely bad manners. Wiping around her mouth with a tissue, she started rummaging through a desk drawer. Peeking inside the drawer, somehow I get the impression that Amani is a typical disorganized person. Rather than things being put away, it was more like they were stuffed in. The thing that Mane had taken out was a paper airplane construction kit, made using cardboard. Without thinking, Katori and I looked at each other. I feel that manufacturing a glider and making a paper airplane are completely different things. But for now, I'll try doing as she says. Using glue and a craft knife, in about 10 minutes, we had finished the paper airplane. All done. Mane takes the plane that Kotori had made and takes a good look. Then she threw it. The paper airplane floated gently as it flew and landed near the wall on the other side of the garage. Katori seems embarrassed at being complimented. Paper airplanes and jumbo jets are the same? The Tori and I both titter out our heads in puzzlement. We both had a skeptical look on our faces. I can understand that a light paper airplane can fly by riding the wind, but it's hard to imagine that a giant hulk hunk of metal can float in the sky on the same principle. There must be some other method that allows it to fly. Mane goes to pick up the paper airplane that she had just thrown. The size and the material? そうだな。あとは、エンジンがあるかないかくらいか。逆に言えば、その他は同じだ。そこに飛行の原理がある。一般的な飛行機は、だいたいこれと同じパーツからできている。まずは胴体。次に主翼。水平尾翼。多少突飛な形状をした飛行機でも、大体同じパーツか、あるいは同じ役割をする別のパーツによって構成されている。When she puts it like that, I guess she's right. I've never paid that much attention to it though. ところで、飛行機がなぜ空気に浮くのか知っているかい? I look baffled again, and Amani smiles a little and rephrases it. Zumari, Kuki got Tsubasa Ukiagara Sayoto Sur Chikara no Kotoda. Yoryoka Koko, Shuyokuni Yote Umida Sareru. I can just imagine the wings cutting the air like a blade. この時、翼の上側と下側で気流の速度に差が生じると流れの速い側の圧力が下がるんだ。ベルヌイの定理ね。
standing beside her. I'm a little freaked out as she so easily comes out with a word like Bernoli. What the hell is that? We didn't learn that at my school. Maybe. The air lifts the wings up. It's a phenomenon that's hard to suddenly imagine. So that's Bernoulli's theorem? Money nodded as if to say yes. As she explains, Mane is drawing a cross section of a wing. According to that, an airplane's wings are flat at the bottom and the top is shaped like a mountain, so it seems like it is semicircular. Apparently, the air on the upper side flows along the raised curved surface and then bends to flow downwards. As for the question of why the air flows along the raised surface, it can only be said that this because of the nature of the air. Or so it would seem. The reaction lifts up the wing. Does that mean that when the wing drops in the air, the reaction causes it to float? The theoretically, that may be so, but I still couldn't imagine how enough lift to cause a several hundred ton airplane to take off could be created. However, airplanes do actually fly in the sky. I don't know if I understand or not. However, I understood that the main wings are the most important part. これらは空中で機体の姿勢を安定させるために付いている。飛行機は空中に浮いているから地面に立つ我々よりも一立って不安定なんだ。まっすぐ上を向いているのが垂直尾翼。横方向の動きを安定させる。主翼と同じ向き
Hey, that's pretty interesting. Seeing this, Katori starts to adjust the tail plane on her own paper airplane. Full of confidence, Katori threw her paper airplane. Whoa! Aww. It did a beautiful loop the loop before landing. That's cool! It did a loop the loop! Katori and I both got really engrossed in adjusting the wings and playing around. Sometimes the paper airplanes displayed some mid-air aerobatics. The other times they didn't fly at all and crashed into the ground. However, by trying it for ourselves, we were able to get a real understanding of the role of the wings. By just changing the shape of the wings a little, you can make them fly in many different ways. As she explained, Amani moved to the side of the garage. Then she lovingly laid her hand on the glider. Katori and I looked at the paper airplanes in our hands. I imagined riding it and flying through the sky. This is just like the fantasies I envisioned as a kid. The glider in front of me was a real thing. But it doesn't have an engine. How does it fly? Paper airplanes gain thrust by being thrown by people. Both I and Katori gaze at the white aircraft. That day, we saw this flying from Windmill Hill. Riding the wind. That expression expresses it so perfectly. The way it flew so smoothly and calmly. Money nods happily. Katori looked at the aircraft with an expression of disbelief. I almost couldn't imagine that this thing flying above the clouds. Have you been there? Above the clouds? Suddenly, her mood drops. Ah! Tori and I react by exchanging glances. Huh? So, you mean... あ、危ないところだった。もし完全に折れていたら、湖に落ちて死んでいたかもな。あはははは、she Katori said that so easily. At a school where things like this are taught, they have all the equipment you need to make anything, from a screw to an aircraft. Mane, with a troubled look on her face, took some broken parts from a drawer. Diaphragm to it, Taiki Sokudo Kene Kumikomarate Rubuhin Nanda. Tokju Hinde, Koreo Tsukuta Kojoga. Katori and I gaze at the parts in the palm of Amane's hand. It certainly looks it wouldn't be easy to make. If it's the kind of thing that can be made in the town factory, there might be something that can be done about it. Amane's eyes light up as I quietly mumble. Ah well, I don't know until I ask, but I know someone like that. Okay, 
I'll try asking you next time I see him. Can I borrow this? Whoosh. Whoa. Suddenly she gives me a full on hug and we're even cheek to cheek. Eric, you can thank me once I've actually got it. No, that's enough. Seriously. The Tori was sullenly glaring at me. I wonder if this will really fly. Tori and I both gazed at the glider with the same look on our faces. Hmm? The bell rings, interrupting Amane. Amane flinches in surprise and quickly turns her back to us. If we're interested... What is it? Somehow, it seems she's avoiding something. Amane? Can I come and see you again? I have to bring her those parts as well. As Katori nods, Amane grins as she nods back. She's really beautiful, but her smile somehow makes her look like a little child. Alright, shall we go back to the classroom? <gasps> I started pushing Katori's wheelchair and decided to start walking. Thank you everybody for watching. I appreciate it so much that you guys watched this video. Uh, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you everybody. Goodbye!